the Lord has made Babylon a laughing stock. Shalom, first and foremost, giving all praises, honor, glory, respect, and blessings to Yahweh, Bashom, Yahweh Shai, Basham Rachakadash. Salutations to the Lord's elect on the four corners of the earth, pushing this truth and sincerity while patiently waiting for Yahweh Shai's return. And double honors to our apostles and elders of Great Millstone, which have taught us everything we know through the spirit and power of Yahweh. Shalom, Yahweh Shai. And this is going to be a response video to a video that was done by the brother GMS Watchman. And in this video, what do we see? We see Joe Biden being made into a, a, a laughing stock. Okay. Now, for those who don't know, according to the Holy Scriptures, Babylon the Great is the United States of America. And the Heavenly Father has made Babylon the Great a laughing stock. Okay, because, well, first off, your president is supposed to be a representation of your whole country. So if your if your president is, is, is you know looking like a fool on national television, who the hell is gonna take this country seriously? You know, that's why, you know, Joe Biden, he's making all these these death threats to Russia. You know, if you use nuclear weapons on, on, on the soils of Ukraine, then we will respond with catastrophic, uh, catastrophic measures. Look, Russia ain't worried about you, man. <laughs> you know, you know, Putin was probably laughing as, as he read the comment. OK, because nobody takes you seriously, dude. OK, uh, Mr. Biden. Nobody takes you seriously. You know, you can call it hate speech, whatever, man. Hey, the truth is the truth. You know, ain't nobody taking America seriously. Matter of fact, we come over here, right? Actually, before I read that, let's go to Obadiah chapter 1. I, uh, hold on. Okay, so Obadiah chapter 1 verse 1, it says, The vision of Obadiah, thus saved the Lord, Yahweh Bashom, Yahweh Shai, concerning Edom. We have heard a rumor from the Lord, and an ambassador is sent among the heathen. Arise ye, and let us rise up against her in the battle. Okay, verse 2. Behold, I have made thee small among the heathen. Who is this talking about? This is talking about Edom. Okay. Which, Biden, you, you, you come from the line of Edom. Okay, you, the so-called elites, and the rest of their nation of people. Okay, you all descend from Edom. Okay, it says, Behold, I have made thee small among the heathen. Yeah. The Lord has have succeeded in making you small among the heathen. That's why your own people over here on the souls of America is making a mockery of you. Because the Lord has made you small among the heathen. Everybody's looking at you, Edomites, like, the, the hell? It says, thou art greatly despised. When you look up the word despised, You'll come to find out that the word despise is a compound word. D meaning down or down from. And then you got the word spies, which goes back to the Latin word spicere. So despise goes back to the Latin word despicere, which means spicere means to look. And then D meaning down or down from. So the word despise literally means to look down on. And that's exactly what these other what these other nations are doing. They're looking down on, on, on you, on, on you Americans, okay? And you have your president right here, no other than Joe Biden to thank for that. Now let's go to Isaiah chapter forty-seven, verse one. Come down 
and sit in the dust, O virgin daughter of Babylon. Sit on the ground. There is no throne, O daughter of the Chaldeans, for thou shalt no more be called tender and delicate. Okay? This country is no longer going to be called tender and delicate. You know? And generally, when you're sitting on the ground, that means that the Lord is bringing you down to a peasant state. Because only peasants sit on the ground. You see, right now, we we are the peasants, right? But the Lord is raising us up to be to, to, to be future rulers. So 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 as you can see, the Lord is clearly flipping the curses. The, the curses that the Israelites are under, the so-called Negro, Latino, and Native Indians, the true biblical Israelites. You see, right now, we're suffering through the curses, the curses of Deuteronomy, the 20th chapter. But guess what? Now the Lord is starting to flip the curses on you, on, on, on you uh, Edomites. Okay? So let's go to Jeremiah, chapter 51. Hmm. Maybe I will start off with verse 7. Jeremiah 51 verse 7 Check this out Babylon have been a golden cup in the Lord's hand That made all the earth drunken The nations have drunken of her wine Therefore the nations are mad So Babylon have been a golden cup in the Lord's hand You know the proof of that is All you have to do is look, look at these other countries Okay Skyscrapers started here in America Correct Now if you look at these other countries you see uh, Chinese and Japanese people. They got skyscrapers in their cities. You know. Who did they get that from? They got that from Babylon the Great. You know. Okay. McDonald's. You know. McDonald's started here in the United States of America. Now now there's a McDonald's in Russia. You got a McDonald's in these Arabian countries. You know you got a McDonald's in Africa. So uh, just, just to give you a few examples. Uh, on how Babylon had been a golden cup in the Lord's hand. Babylon is suddenly fallen and destroyed. How will for her take balm for her pain? If so be, she may be healed. Right? However, however, we would have healed Babylon, but she is not healed. And the proof that she is not healed is what? Just look at your president. This country is hurting right now. Okay? And your president is, is a, a part of that reason. So this, this country is hurting. There is no healing for this country. There is no reparations for this country. Therefore, forsake her and let us go everyone into his own country. Hey, you're starting to see more and more of these heathens packing their shit up and going back overseas because they're seeing that nothing good is really going with this country. For her judgment reacheth unto heaven and is lifted up even to the skies. With that, I'm going to say, Shalom, it's on to the next one.